I stopped uh, looking actors as South or North or Hindi or Tamil or Kannada. I stopped looking at uh, stars like that. Even before that, I stopped looking at the audiences like Hindi, Tamil, Bengali, uh, Malayalam, all, or like that. I just look at them as Indian audience. <laughs> Whenever a creator makes a spectacle that the world talks about, everyone becomes curious about their next step. SS Rajamouli with the epic Bahubali generated that same buzz from the Indian audience, everyone becoming curious about his next venture. When it was announced that he is going to create a 400 crore epic film with Ram Charan and Junior NTR, it of course piqued the interest of a lot of people. Everyone had an idea that the film would be based around the time period of the freedom struggle of the country. Later, it developed that KV Vijendra Prasad has created a fictional world with two real life freedom fighters Aluri Sitaram Raju from the current day Andhra Pradesh and Komram Bhim from the present day. Telangana area and has formulated a hypothetical situation in which both these freedom fighters crossed paths with one another, were dear friends, and went into oblivion for almost two years only to return back and fight against British imperialism. The case of fictionalized stories on real-life individuals is quite the tricky topic to focus on as there are a lot of sentiments that ride around these figures and what they represent for various communities. For example, there was a lot of debate and controversy around the character of Komran Beam dressed in a skull cap and applying coal in his eyes, presumably posing as a Muslim man, quite contrary to how people remember him as a freedom fighter. To which KL Vijendra Prasad clarified that the intention of the scene is when the character is trying to escape from the shackles of the Nizam of Hyderabad and what is better other than blending in the crowd as if you belong there. Fictionalized stories on real people often protect the creators as they have free reign in order to represent the world the way they feel like, but I think a lot of people have faith in a creator like SS Rajamouli, who has a keen eye for detailing with respect to world building and justifying various aspects of his film. I have to say that for every movie that I have seen in theatres, the RRR teaser has been played regularly before films. The short teaser with its roaring background score, detailed sound design of various gunshots, and with an extremely fast-paced manner changing scenes generated a lot of hype among audiences. The teaser exactly presented the action-packed world we would be transported to. This in turn of course led to a lot of songs of the film releasing and I can wholeheartedly say that my favourite is Nato Nato, mainly because I get to see Ram Charan and Junior NTR dance their heart out. The song has become quite the viral sensation on social media and justifiably so. It actually seems like both the actors were having a ball while performing that choreography and it actually translates in front of camera. All of this hype has led to people waiting for this day when the trailer of this much talked about film comes out. Because there are a lot of aspects about the trailer that spread out between good and bad, I'll present it just like a review for much needed clarity. You also let me know in the comments below what you liked and disliked about the trailer with no inhibitions. We often keep our honest opinion close to our chest with fear of the rabbit fanbase and their reactions that would follow, but let's be truthful with one another. So let me get to the good and bad aspects of the trailer. The underwhelming aspects. Revealing the second look. I think the film's trailer mainly focused on the two main characters and their journey and all of it seemed perfect. From Komram Bhim's admiration and loyalty for Aluri Sitarama Raju, the conflict that may arise in their friendship ultimately and their journey to fight back against the British. I think that Ram Charan's iconic look that we got to see in a few posters should have been kept at bay for the trailer. I can imagine many audience members not knowing what to expect and absolutely losing their mind when he would come in that attire on the big screen. Again, this is a classic case of revealing so many beats of a film that the masses are anyway going to storm into the theatre for. I personally felt that if that look and point of combat in that dense forest was kept ultimately for the film, it would have been an epic moment rather than what we expect anyway from the film. Over the top action. I don't think we should be hypocrites by not communicating that we find some of the moments of combat to be unnecessarily over the top. The point of a fictionalized story based on real life characters gives you freedom to explore the world the way you want, but the action can still be grounded in its approach while still having a massy appeal. I feel the action showcased throughout the trailer had this rustic and grounded approach through most of its minutes, until the sequence of the forest was eventually revealed where the duo fight it out against the British. This is where things go a bit out of hand for me. Bahubali 2 had this larger than life quality about it, almost representing its characters like superheroes. And there are some scenes even from that film, especially the army man being flung like Age of Empires stone throwers and perfectly landing that many people found over the top. In this trailer, seeing Junior NTR simply stomp on a running bike towards him, making it flip, 
holding a bike with his bare hands in the air something that we heavily criticized John Abraham for and the duo mostly being seen flying in the air causing quite the concern to the laws of physics is something that I'm really skeptical about on how it will play out in theaters I understand that a film is pitched in a certain way and it needs the action to meet the same pitch but for me to take the leap of faith with a fictionalized story on real life characters and on top of that without any question simply accept even over the top scenes such as that it would be me either lying to myself or simply being fearful of giving my honest opinion a lot of people say that the world building would almost make you forget about such sequences because the emotion that rides along with it but that is something we will have to wait and see in theaters the good sound design and background score I absolutely love the background score that assists the trailer of the movie composed by MM Kiravani. The roaring background score of the teaser probably being my favorite of the lot. The score that plays especially when Junior NTR runs through the forest as the tiger chases him gave me goosebumps, envisioning on what it will be like watching it in theaters. There's also a recurring background score that plays almost sounding like an F1 car that is revving its engine constantly that will contribute to pumping you up in theaters especially during the action sequences. The track brace yourself generating the same response that I'm eagerly looking forward to world building if there is anyone who can successfully build this world and make everyone invested in the saga that will carry on for almost 3 hours i would bet my money on a creator like ss rajamouli there are very few creators in this country who do not get overwhelmed by the scale at which their film is being presented and rajamouli is considered to be an extremely patient creator who despite the roadblocks of the pandemic has persevered to make sure we see the film in its truest form i'm honestly really looking forward to the screenplay of this film and its writing and how the friendship of both the freedom fighters goes through ebbs and flows ultimately to join hands with one another against the british i remember so distinctly on how rajamouli developed the relationship and growing animosity between amarendra and bal Dev and Bahubali. You can expect to be absolutely invested in both the characters' lives even through this film, especially because of the fact that it is set during a time period of the British influence in India. The driving force of freedom and the sentiment around their exploitative ways will be capitalized by the creator and capable actors like the two stars. Capability of actors. I think both the actors know what they have signed up for. I've seen Junior NTR's initial films and have seen him grow over the years as an actor, but it is with this film, especially when I look at his physical transformation, that really tells me he is going to go all out for this film. Both the actors know their assignment and Ram Charan for me especially stands out in the trailer. He seems to have absolutely invested everything to this role and seems more to be a part of the world that Rajamouli actually envisioned. Actors like Alia Bhatt and Ajay Devgan come in extended cameos and I hope and pray that their dubbing is not awkward as both are extremely capable performers otherwise. This journey and the emotional world building that Rajamouli always promises has me really excited. I will make it a point not to have the baggage of the spectacle that was Bahubali and judge RRR independently and not according to the precedent that Bahubali set. A mindset I would wish everyone goes with while stepping in for this film. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about the trailer. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.